Hey guys, Joshua with Josh and Hunter's Adventures and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we've got a real review for you today. We're reviewing the Daiwa Tatula SV. And uh, we've had a lot of uh, the uh, Daiwa Tatulas. We've even done some uh, reviews on the CTs, the 100s, different things like that. We've never got to review the uh, SV, so we're going to review it. Uh, it's uh, first thing I will say is it's super compact. You know, it has this aluminum frame, so it's really lightweight. I think it comes in at like 6.7 ounces, so it is super, super light. Uh, fits really well in the hand. Uh, give you a view there of what it looks like. Uh, we're going to talk about everything about the reel, go over a few things, and uh, just, you know, give you a full review of it. We've had it now for uh, fishing with it for a couple months now. We've actually got braid on it. This is our, uh, you know, it's an, on a dedicated frog rod. So we've put it to the test pretty good, and... Uh, figure we go ahead and give you a uh, you know a review and, and let you know what we think about it but if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell that way you know we put out videos we put out a lot of videos a lot of tips tricks how to's fishing videos different things like that I don't want you to miss out on so let's go ahead and get right into this um, first off I went with the 8 to 1 uh, the one thing that Daiwa does do is they change their uh, color right here on the handles uh, depending on what uh, speed you go with uh, and this is the eight to one you can see it's got the purple there uh, that makes it just kind of convenient you know to be able to see uh, what speed that you're you may, you may have a deck full of them is what I'm saying so like I said the we do have braid on it I will go ahead and tell you what pound test that it does hold line capacity for this reel is a hundred yards of 14 pound test or 90 yards of 16 pound test we have braid on it, so there's no issue there. We have 30 pound uh, test braid, and it works really, really well. We got a full spool of that. Makes super long casts, and we've still got plenty of line. I've even run a little bit of backing on here. The bearings on this is, uh, when you first look at it, you may think, well, it doesn't have a whole lot of bearings, but it actually has seven, seven ball bearings and one roller bearing which makes this real, I mean, really, really smooth. Like I said, the weight on this is 6.7. And again, I've, I've mentioned that, that it is an eight to one. Uh, just a super, super good reel. I will also mention here that um, to be able to oil this reel, it's super, super easy. Dial has made it very easy. You can see there is a screw right here on the side. It's spring loaded. So when you back it out, it pops out. You can uh, twist your side plate down pull your spool out you've got some bearings here and some bearings over here on the other side and you can oil it and it will make this real cast so much better we actually done that the other day and the performance of it is, is a lot lot better so when Daiwa came out with this Tatula SV they you know wanted something that's going to be super lightweight small compact and just casted really really well well you've got your aluminum frame that makes this real really light and one of the good things about this reel is, is it's got the zero adjust spool, which that makes setting the, uh, the spool tension super, super easy. There's, it's almost like, you know, carefree. You don't even have to worry about really setting it. I really never touch my spool tensions uh, when, I'm, when, I, when I've got a dial. You just don't even need to. So if you're familiar with the T-wing system on here, what that does is when you push the button down to release the spool, the T-wing will open and it will allow the line just to, to feed through there and there's, there's no basically contact which makes the line just go through there a lot smoother and it's, it helps with longer casting and you don't get as hardly as many backlashes. Okay, so I'm gonna let Hunter do some casting with it. We're gonna be using a frog. This is like I said, our dedicated frog rod, just a Booyah pad crasher, nothing heavy, nothing you know super um, that's gonna cast a, a long, long way, but it's gonna show you that it still will cast a really really long distance one thing i did not mention uh, earlier is the handles on this as you can see they're slightly oversized which makes really really good um, for grabbing a hold the grips on these are super super nice that's one of the really things that i like about Daiwa's is they come with really really nice grips uh, but so we're going to let hunter do some casting we'll get some video of him uh, skipping just a little bit and show you how it skips and uh, let you see the performance of the reel Now, Daiwa Tatulas are normally, they don't backlash a lot at all. I mean, their, their braking system that they have is just unreal. Now, this one has that 
uh, centrifugal and the magnetic braking system, which makes it so much smoother. Um, it just, like I said, you know, we've been playing around with the, uh, the braking system there. Uh, right now we've got it set on 14. Uh, so started out just a little bit heavy with it, you know, when we first got it, just playing around with it. But um, like I said, we've only threw uh, braid with it and uh, it's worked really, really well. I just want to show you some casting uh, of him, trying to get the best shot that I can. Uh, and he can put it under uh, the trees a lot better than I can. That's why I'm, matter of fact, he's got one right now. I'm trying to get out of his way. So there you go, guys. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, uh, he can cast the uh, uh, and skip a lot better than I can. So um, see there, he he ate it. Pegged him right in the top of the mouth. Not no giant, but uh, always fun to catch. Yep. So um, I'm gonna let him do some more casting here. And I don't set the hooks off. Yeah, he don't set the hooks off, so we got the drag set, you know, pretty tight as you can see there. But uh, we're going to do some more casting here. I just want you guys to see, actually I'm going to let him make some long casts here in just a second. Uh, because I want you to see that this is not just, you know, we, we are, we're close to the bank and, uh, you know, that, that is what we use it a lot for. But, but he, can, he can still throw this frog a long way and I'm going to let him do that here once he fixes his frog. And uh, to be able to show you just how it will cast. Make a real long cast. I don't know how if you can even see that splash or not, but that is 30 yards. I'll let him do another one. Stay right where we're at. That way they can see, you know, maybe the landing. I know it's hard to see it on a GoPro. That was actually farther. So there you go, guys. You can see the uh, the distance that it throws. Um, you know, skipping it whether it's up against the bank or you're you know might be using it for a uh, a different technique you know than from what we are using it for. But uh, like I said, uh, super good reel. All right, there you go. The Daiwa Tatula SV, super good reel. Like I said, if you're looking for a reel in that $200 range, you can't go wrong with this reel. Uh, we talked about uh, you know the specifications, showed you a fish catch uh, and how the reel casts, um, but fits very, very good in the hand. It's very comfortable. You can fish it all day with no problems. So like I said, if you're looking for a reel in that $200 range, be sure and check out this Daiwa Tatula SV. If you have any questions, go down in the comment section and leave me a question down there. Or if you have this reel and you enjoy it, let me know. If you enjoyed this video leave me a thumbs up and again if you're new here you enjoy this content hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell that way you know we put out videos until next time this is josh with josh and hunters adventures and we'll see you next time